Hello and welcome to another video on the Eheim Pro 4 Plus 600. This filter has been running for a little over a month now since the last video was uploaded. It has been running on this 200 litre aquarium with some puffer fish in it, some pretty messy puffer fish. Today we're going to take the filter apart, have a look inside, see how it's doing and see what we can do to improve it. We're actually going to have a look in two of these filters, one that I've been running for a while and this one. Your first tray is of course your pre-filter. Now this is here to catch large parts of the tritus before it gets into the rest of the canister filter. Now I've purposely left this an entire month just to demonstrate how much crud and bits of leaves and things this pre-filter actually catches. We can see the sponge is quite dirty. It's not that bright, vibrant blue anymore. It is full of crap and that has stopped all of that crap entering the rest of your filter. The second tray down is your Substrat Pro with the floss. We're gonna have a look at that last. There's something I want to talk about with that. The next tray is Eheim's Biomech. This is great, I love this stuff. And then the next two trays is Eheim's Mech Pro. Now I'm not a fan of this, and I'll explain why. Now let me just be clear about something. This stuff does exactly what it's supposed to do. The idea behind it is that as the water passes through it, any particles inside are forced through the holes of this media, in between all of the media, and is ultimately smashed up into little pieces. It does exactly that. My problem with it is that those fine particles are then allowed to pass through this basket of your biomech and is then allowed to pass through this basket of your Substrat Pro. It is only stopped by this floss, which is after your biological media. So Substrat Pro is a very porous material. On each one of these pieces, there's thousands and thousands of little tiny holes which are referred to as pores. The microorganisms responsible for maintaining the nitrogen cycle live inside those pores. Now when fine particles of waste are allowed to pass through this media, it becomes dirty, like we can see here. And when it becomes dirty, those pores begin to get clogged. Thus, the amount of space available to those microorganisms is reduced. And over time, this just gets worse. Until your biological media is ruined. This is why I always recommend a floss before your biological media. So any contaminants are removed before it even becomes in contact with this stuff. Now let's compare this against another Eheim filter which I'm running with a modified method. The filter I'm going to compare it against is this Eheim Pro 4 600, exactly the same model, exactly the same filter, except this one has been running since April 5th, 2019. The other difference with this second filter is that the Mech Pro has been replaced with a more traditional form of mechanical filtration. So we're just gonna compare these two baskets. So this is from the first filter and this is from the second filter. The difference is quite obvious. This, after only one month of use, is quite dirty. 
Whereas this, which has been running since April 5th, still looks brand new. So what changes have I made? Well, the first change was I took one of these baskets and completely discarded of the Mech Pro. And what I did was move that tray down and swap places. And then I replaced the Biomech with more Substrat Pro, which I think is an excellent biological media. I think it's fantastic, which is why I've added another tray of it. Now again, I have discarded of this Mac Pro, completely got rid of it. And what I have done instead is if I, I have added this blue foam, which is 30 ppm. And I've put that in there, topped off with a fine floss. This will stop those fine particles making its way through the rest of the baskets and essentially fouling this media. This change has three major benefits. The first one is that this biological media isn't going to become as dirty. The second benefit is that you have added another load of Substrat Pro, which has increased the biological capacity of the filter. The third benefit is that you have added another layer of water polish and floss, which will contribute to clearer water. Now we have made that change, we can go ahead and put the filter back together. So starting with the basket of 30 ppi foam with your water polishing floss, that goes in first. And send that right to the bottom. Then I'm going to put the tray of Biomech above that. Your new tray of Substrat Pro. And we're going to get rid of this old dirty floss and replace that with some new floss put to size and then the cage replaced. And we're going to put that on the top like so. Now to cut this new foam, you're going to use the original floss that came with the filter as a template. And you're just gonna put that on there like so, and you're just gonna cut around it with a pair of scissors until you have some of these. And you're going to use the same floss as a template to make some more of these, which you can just replace as and when is necessary. One thing that I would like to say is that the intention of this video is not to put you off this range of filter. I really rate this filter. It's energy efficient, it's excellent at cleaning, it's very quiet, it's very reliable. I think the build quality is really good. Uh, I like some of the features on it, I like how easy it is to maintain, the list goes on. I am not trying to put you off buying this filter, it's a great filter, don't get me wrong, but it does work better with uh, this change of media. Another thing I'd like to say is that the mistake I made when I originally did this was I used a black foam, and black foam is really difficult to determine how dirty it is because all the muck is just disguised amongst the black. If you hadn't used this, 
use a blue sponge because you can tell exactly how dirty it is and you can tell exactly how clean you've got it after giving it a good rinse. So I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, if you've got a Eheim Pro 4 600 or any of the Pro 4 Plus range, um, give this method a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me in the future, subscribe to the channel. Um, you can also visit the website, straighttalkingfish.com. And I hope to see you again.